Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we're at Copper Mine Brewing Company in Tucson, Arizona. And we're going to talk to Alex, the manager, beer tender, and uh, we're going to sit down and just have a conversation and show you around the place, yeah. let you know about Copper Mine Brewing Company. So please stick around. Music. <laughs> So here we are with Alex from Copper Mine Brewing Company, and she's the manager of Copper Mine and I should say beer tender extraordinaire. <laughs> and now, because really what, what got us to come over here, and I think I've told that story, I mean, we came over a couple times and, and the beers are fantastic, but let's face it, a lot of stuff is personality based. Yeah. I mean, truly. And so we were having a beer at, at another place and uh, we sent out uh, an Instagram and, uh, I got a message saying, hey, when you're done there, come over here. So I'll we said, <laughs> so we were like, oh, we're going to. Cool and that? we came over here and we keep coming back. I mean, cause it, it really does make a difference when yeah. you, especially with the promotions, I yeah. mean, you're fantastic. Cause now it's not promoting. just like, oh, let's go get a beer. It's like, oh, let's go see Alex and get a beer. <laughs> so it's, it's a fun thing to do. It just makes it. I try and make it so homey fun. here. I think yeah. that cultivating relationships is important. It keeps people coming back, definitely. It is, and I'm sure it makes it fun for you because you know you've got your people here. You know, yeah, that come absolutely. In. Yeah, the beer is always fantastic. Today, I'm I'm having the uh, one of the what, what do you call it? the flagship beers? Yeah, which is the uh, the Dead, Dead Canary. Canary. Yeah, IPA. it's really good IPA. And I'm having the Broken Lantern, and it is a Schwartz beer, and it's a black lager, and it's awesome. It's one of my favorites. One of my sure. favorite too. Nice. And it's so good. And how many how many taps do you run regularly? We do 14 taps. They're all uh, made in-house. We have a four barrel system, which is pretty small. It's actually technically a nano brewery instead of a micro brewery, but okay. they don't make that license here in Tucson. So Alex, what is your favorite beer at Copper Mine? <laughs> Originally, it was the Dead Canary. I am a huge IPA fan, all except for hazies. I don't do hazy IPAs. Um, I used to joke with the owners all the time that I would quit working here if I quit making the Dead Canary, and then I started drinking the Broad Mountain Brown, yeah, which is an Imperial, seven percent, and it is amazing. It is. So it's it kind of so between those two. And you have a lot of functions here at Copper Mine. I <laughs> do. <laughs> you just had some last weekend. You were like we said, she's the queen of promotions. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, we had Hank Topless out last Friday night. Uh, live cool. musicians as much as possible. This coming Friday, we're doing our first open mic night. One of our regular <laughs> mug members, Mario, is going to go ahead and run that for us. So I don't have a, a whole lot of details on that one. But another thing we like about Copper Mine is Alex plays great music. <laughs> oh yeah, there's always great tunes yeah. when we walk in. And so you're the Be you're a Beatles fan, and favorite is your is the Cure, right? The Cure, and now that I'm older, I think don't laugh at me. I love Blink 182. I think oh, their music catalog fantastic. is amazing. And now you're you're um, the Mug Club. Is that uh, limited? There's so many. Well, yeah, we only order. Um, it's 48 mugs we order every year. Um, so it's it's it is first come first serve. This year is the first year that we've gotten kind of close to not having any more. You're starting to come out with. Uh, you have flagship cans. Cans we do. As well. Yeah, we just got a canning line uh, for our anniversary. So we have four pack cans available of the Irish Red, the Hibiscus Blonde, and shortly we will have the Dead Canary available. We're all sold out right now, but. Cool. Yeah, that one's popular. Very nice. nice. <laughs> How many brewers do you have here? The one. The one brewer. Yeah, the owners, um, the owners used to do it. Jeff and Jeremy used to brew, and then they brought Paul in. I'm not sure exactly if he was an assistant or he just came in and, and helped him brew. And then they got to the point where they were comfortable enough just letting him do it. And now he has started kind of fine-tuning and tweaking things around a little bit. I think he's, he's not that it was bad before, but I definitely think he's improved everything. Yeah. Just yeah. kind of attention to detail kind I think of stuff. so, too. Yeah. Yeah, it just gets better and better. He's, he's good at what he does. Yeah, and the seasonals, your seasonals are always fantastic yeah. also. The habanero is probably my favorite. Oh, I'm yeah, the habanero is awesome. <laughs> and it's interesting how with, with the music and uh, we, we found that people working in the beer industry, there's always some sort of connection. Your boyfriend plays in, in a hard rock band, right? Or he they does, consider yeah. metal. Metal. 
Yeah. Demon, Demon Grass. Demon Grass. Their first show is uh, August 13th, Friday the 13th at 191 Tool. $5 cover, not bad. We will yeah. be there. I yeah, know. We're I'm gonna, so excited yeah, to Yeah, we're going to be there for late. sure. If there's anything better than the music community in Tucson, it's probably the craft beer community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's really tight, and, yeah. and it makes sense that they go together because yeah. Yeah. they're good people. I don't know if it's that way around the country. I don't, you know, for us to have as many breweries as we have with such a small footprint, like, we're not Phoenix, obviously. Yeah. But we all help each other out. Nobody really steps on each other's toes. Mm -hmm. You know, 1912 does sours. Crooked Tooth does sours. Nobody else really screws with them because yeah. that's why are you going to do something that somebody else already does so yeah. well? Yeah. Yeah. Just like us with our German beer, nobody really... Nobody else really does German beer because we do it really well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you do all your beers oh, yeah. really well. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything to do with it. <laughs> Maybe flavor profiles every once in a while. But. Yeah. Oh, the the coconut, the nitro coconut was my favorite. Oh, Ooh, okay. Yeah. That was fantastic. That was I love the nitro coconut. You name them sometimes, Steve. You help name them. I do beers. name them, yeah. The cold black heart is mine. I love that name. <laughs> It's perfect. It couldn't be any better. I yeah. also did the Broadmont and the Half a Meal. The, the, half CM, a meal. the CMBS was, I didn't say some bullshit lager, but when he said it, I said, yes, that's the name. <laughs> <laughs> the owners, it drives them crazy. That one does. They don't like it very much. But that's fantastic. Else loves it, so. And there's a function here in Tucson that's called Born and Brewed. And there's the Hotel Congress Beer Cup. And yep. you have been the winner for three years in a row? Uh, two years in a row, three years total out of the four that we've been open. Um, we've won Judge's Choice for the Irish Red, which is the beer that made the bar. It's the wow. one that convinced the owner's That's friends so cool. that they needed to convince them to open the brewery. That's awesome. And so. now they're, they have another one. Everyone's voting now again. So yeah. Get them I, they usually do it in August. Do we mention any upcoming beers that are coming? I think the next beer we have in line is September, and that's the Blueberry Hefeweizen. Real subtle, subtle blueberry. What brought your interest uh, in working at uh, a brewing company yeah. and pouring? I mean, what's. Um, were you a beer fan beforehand? Kind you... of. I mostly drank Sierra Nevada. Oh, okay. Pale Ale. Uh huh. Um, IPA, obviously. Uh, I had a friend. Her cousin was the head brewer at Petal House up in Tempe. And he came down to Tucson one weekend and we did a brewery tour. Dragon was one of the breweries that we toured. And the passion and the people that I met and saw there was one of the things that drew me to it. Yeah. And it's probably my favorite thing I've ever done in my entire life, yeah. aside from having kids. That's awesome. Yeah. It's it's doing fun. what you love. It is fun. One of my favorite things about this place is all the people. I met some cool yeah, every time we come in here, we'll usually meet somebody yeah. Yeah. who's yeah. from out of state. It always ends up with music chit chat there at the bar. You guys, as regulars, you you know you play a part in that, and I try and cultivate it. And thanks to Alex for having us here today. And Copper Mine. No problem. And Copper Mine because we love coming here to see you anyway. And today we organized a show, so this is awesome. Sounds good. I always love seeing you guys. You're yeah. two of my favorites for sure. Yeah, we well, love thanks. you too. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. thank you. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Cheers to you. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and don't, don't forget, forget to stay metal. <laughs> I did it early. Yeah. It's filming. <laughs> so tell me, Chippy, how often do you come here? Yeah? Chippy? Oh, really? Oh my gosh, I just love this guy. <laughs>